my name's Isaac and this is the Saga. Today I'm doing a pretty topical thing. Reuters just came out with a report saying India is banning Bitcoin. So uh, that was a few hours ago. Today's March 14th. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, and my ideas on cryptocurrency and stuff like that because I have had Bitcoin before. Um, back in 2012, I donated my computer to a nonprofit that gives computers to kids and schools um, who need a computer. And it was in 2012 when Bitcoin was like a few dollars, maybe seven at most. Maybe it was a few cents back then, but it was not worth very much. So I had like two or four of them. And I got them just by playing some online game. Because at that point, you could play online games for Bitcoin. Which you can now, but you can't get whole Bitcoins from it. You can only get fractions of a Bitcoin but back then it was like a lot um, cheaper to mine and everything too which we'll get into too but yeah so that's how I know about it um, back then I was like a Ron Paul libertarian so I was not a big fan of the current monetary system the fractional reserve system which recently changed again but it was um, at that point 10% um, that a bank had to have on hand um, in case of a bank run um, last March a year ago March 2020 the Federal Reserve basically disappeared the 10% and made it whatever banks thought was reasonable so now we're on a uh, subjective fractional reserve system <laughs> but um, yeah I had Bitcoin because I thought it would be more real than dollars and cents but Bitcoin is just as fiat just as fake it's just zeros and ones in computers which is basically what all money is now I mean like the Federal Reserve and the US Treasury doesn't print all money it prints maybe 1% if that and the rest is recorded in computers <clears throat> um, same with cryptocurrencies there's nothing real but computer code backing them so what is happening in India is the government proposed banning cryptocurrency um, China's already banned mining and trading Bitcoin and cryptocurrency but you can still possess it um, but in India now it's all banned you can't even possess it so what does this mean i'm not a i'm not well versed in indian um, politics and stuff but on a world stage it's the second biggest con country population wise so that's gonna have a lot of impact um, and it doesn't seem like they're doing it for good reasons like it's not because oh I mean mining Bitcoin takes the amount of energy in a year that the Czech Republic does so Bitcoin uses as much electricity as um, pretty big countries it's in if Bitcoin was a country it'd be in the top 40 or 30 countries energy consumption wise so yeah it's it's a dumb thing to go to um, for all the flaws of uh, government and bank controlled monetary system using 
cryptocurrency that uses so much electricity to create fake wealth is a dumb idea in my opinion. But uh, that's not why India banned it. They're basically creating their own cryptocurrency. Um, which is kind of silly because all these countries are using computers and electronic recording to keep track of their currency printing and usage anyway so it's like not that big of a deal for them to create theirs but it's obvious that they're banning private cryptocurrency so that people have to use their electronic currency and I mean most places are going cashless or um, using less cash at least um, they're not going totally cashless but I know a few places that are you can't use cash now and I mean if we still have money we kinda need cash unless you want them to track everything you buy and I mean they already pretty much do but when you use cash you have a little less worry about are they gonna see if I'm buying this that or the other thing um, so I mean it depends on how much you care about your privacy I'm not worried about what they're seeing me buy but I know that's gonna affect a lot of people um, especially these gig jobs now that are under the table those are gonna go away because there's cashless societies and you're basically left to either over the table jobs or getting paid with private shady currencies like Bitcoin which go up and down and up and down I mean yeah they're pretty high now but we'll see because they're not backed on anything real uh, but uh, that's just my opinion I don't know I am a <laughs> recreation administrator so um, I'm not an economist, but I'll tell you right now, this is the best financial advice you'll get ever. Um, if you want to secure real wealth and value, the two items that I'll tell you will hold their value no matter what currency you're talking about, will be all kinds of tools tools being the whole gamut I'm not even gonna say all the different tools but you know art tools construction tools um, and try to go with human powered tools um, so yeah tools and seeds if you want real value that's what you should be hoarding <laughs> Uh, but don't hoard, you know, have a community, and you'll be fine. Anyways, that's all I know about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency now, but yeah, India banned it. And we'll see what that does to the world economy of cryptocurrency and... Um, if the Indian government is going to create their own uh, but yeah let me know what you think in the bottom comments um, press the thumb up or down I don't care you can press either um, let me know what you think um, I'll respond maybe even but uh, yeah um, peace, love, and all that stuff, seeds and tools, and if I see any more things about 
cryptocurrency, I'll let you know. Thanks, and have a good time, whenever that is, wherever that is.